Hi and welcome to the next tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking animated background using Adobe Illustrator and After Effects. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have here is I've just created a new document in Illustrator 1920 by 1080 pixels will be fine. I'm just going to go to create. I'm just going to zoom out a bit so I can see the entire screen because we need to draw some stuff on these two sides. So I need to come over here and find my pencil tool. Once I've clicked on my pencil tool, I can double click on the icon and make sure the fidelity is set to smooth. Once you've done that, what you want to do is you want to create a rough shape that goes from one side to the other side, something like that. So now I've got these two shapes. I'm just going to press Ctrl A to select them all. And then I'm just going to change the stroke size to roughly about 20. Once you're happy with everything, what you need to do is go to Object, then go to Blend and then Make. And once you've done that, you will see it automatically brings up this uh, extra line in the middle. So what we need to do is we need to come over here to our Blend Options and then I'm just going to press on Preview and then I'm going to change it to a specific number of steps. So let's put in something like 30 and I've just pressed Tab to move it to the next point. And so if you are happy with the spacing in between um, those lines, you can leave it like that or you can experiment with your own set spacings. But I'm going to leave it at 30. And if you feel that it's too big, you can always come over here and adjust it as well. But you need to make sure that it fits the entire section of that area there. So anyways, so I'm pretty happy with that. So all I need to do is just click File Save and I can then import it into After Effects. So now that I'm in After Effects, what we need to do is I just need to import those lines that we've created. So all I have to do is just right click Import and then click on File and then import your lines from Illustrator. And once you've done that, you want to import it as a composition. So just press OK. So now that we have our lines there, we can see our layer one, which is our lines and nothing really appears on our After Effects uh, composition. So what we need to do is firstly, we need to come over here and we need to go to create and we need to create shapes from the vector layer. And now you can start to see all those patterns that we've got. So we don't really need the, the other layer and the eye was off anyway. So we can now just focus on our outlines. So what we need to do firstly is we need to come over here and create a new solid. And it doesn't matter what color the solid is, but I'm just going to put it underneath the outline. So now we can see those lines that we've created and we can see the background. Now the first thing that we are going to put on the background is our gradient ramp. So make sure you come over here double click on the gradient ramp icon and then what we can do is we can change the colors. Now I'm just going to get some colors from Color Hunt and then I will change both of those colors. So now I've just imported this um, picture so I can just come over here and then just grab my colors and so I'm just going to pick that blue something like that and yeah that, that's pretty much it for the, the background. Um, we're going to keep those colors because we need to change the colors of the outline to something as well. So to change those colors of that outline, what we can do is we can just come over here, make sure you click on that layer and then go to the stroke and then we can, you can pick that whichever color that you like. Just make sure it's from the same color palette from the same color hunt. So once we've got our colors, now we're ready to start to animate things. So the first thing that we can do is we can come over here to our layer one outlines and we can open this up and we can add a trim path. And if we do that, what will happen is now we're going to come over here and we are going to animate the end. So I'm just going to press on the stopwatch to start the animation. I'm going to press zero there and I'm going to make sure that I'm on the the first keyframe here and then I'm going to move forward in time to about one second and then I'm going to change that to 100% and so now if you preview that so now the lines they all come in and 
They start right at the bottom left hand corner and they end up at the top right hand corner. So that's looking pretty cool so far. So the next thing that we need to do is on this layer one outline, we need to come over here and we need to search for the wave warp effect. So all I'm writing is wave and if I find it wave warp and there are two things that we will change. We will change the height and the width. Now you can see here that you know the width is a bit too much there. So what we are going to be doing is we're going to change the height to about two and then the width to about 150. And so now if I preview that, so now you can see it's got like a continuous wave form and it's constantly moving. So that's looking pretty good. Now, the next thing that we need to do is we can animate a few other things. We can animate the actual gradient. So if we come over here to our solid, what we can do is we can go to the start of our uh, composition and we can click on the stopwatch for the start of the ramp. And I'm just gonna move it over there. But then by the end of the composition, so my composition is only 10 seconds. I'm just gonna move it to, let's say this side. And so now if I preview that, you can see that now the gradient is changing in the background. Now this is going for about 10 seconds, so it's not gonna seem so sudden. And I think that's looking pretty cool. The last thing that we need to do is we need to add a rectangle here with some text in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to um, go and create a new rectangle so I'm just going to use the rectangle tool, make sure that you're not on any layer. And I'm just going to draw a rectangle there. Now I'm just going to hold control and double click this pan behind icon. And that moves the anchor point in the middle. And then I can come over here to my align tools and just make sure that that is in the middle. Now, obviously for this, I do not want it to have a stroke. So I'm just gonna come over here, click on the word stroke and then press none. But the fill color, I want I want the fill color to be, let's say maybe this color here, or I can go a bit lighter. And maybe I'll go with the dark one. So it will be something like that. The final thing that we need to do is we need to add some text in here. So now I'm just gonna write, you know, animated background. And so for this font, I'm using Fajala one, but you can use any font that you like. And I'm just going to align that to the center of the document as well. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to make sure that I just bring down that background so it just sits just like that on top of the text. Now that's looking pretty cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to highlight both those, the rectangle and the text layer, and I'm going to pre-compose them. So I'm gonna right click and go to pre-compose. I'm just gonna call that text box. And so now what we need to do is we just need to animate that uh, text box coming in. And so we're gonna do a very simple animation just with the scale. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press S on my keyboard for scale and I'm gonna press the stopwatch there right at the start of my clip. I'm gonna zoom in so that uh, you can see the frames a little bit better. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make sure that I start the scale off at 0%. I'm gonna move forward in time to about 10 frames and then I'm going to bring it up to about 110%. And once we've done that at 10 frames, then I'm just gonna press page down on my keyboard three times. So one, two, three, and that will bring it back in three different frames and now I'm just going to bring it down to 95% and then another three frames so one two three and then I'll bring that up to about 105% and then one two three bring that back down to 98% and then one two three I'll bring that to its final resting place at 100 and so what we've done there is a very simple overshoot. And so now we're gonna have that nice little bounce effect there. Now we can make that better by highlighting all of these keyframes and then going to Easy Ease. And then if we go into our graph editor, what we can do is we can make the 
first initial bounce much more snappier by bringing those points and putting them towards the middle. And so now we've got a very nice, um, you know, text box that kind of comes in. Now the final thing that we are going to add to this is firstly, I'm just going to get rid of my, um, my color palette. And I'm just going to come over here and add a drop shadow to that uh, text box. So all I have to do is just double click drop shadow and then we can see what it kind of looks like. So I'm just going to increase the distance and I'm also going to maybe change the color to something from our color palette. So I'm just going to click on this and maybe put it to that gray and there you go. If you zoom in, you can see that nice uh, drop shadow there. So that's about it for this tutorial. Now you can do this with any kind of line designs and you know, the, the possibilities are really quite endless. So anyways, I, I hope you learned something today. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.